today's discussion is going to be about the Frontier Unlimited Pass. Is it worth it? <laughs> so we're going to talk about the pros and cons of getting the Frontier Unlimited Travel Pass. Hey, today's video is going to be about the Frontier Unlimited Travel Pass. Like, is it worth it? We're going to go over five pros and cons of that pass and to see if it's worth the small amount. Because remember, it is their Frontier. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, my video is about entrepreneurship, filmmaking, and like personal growth. So if that's something that you're into, subscribe to my channel, follow, and keep going more. I'm not gonna take too long to go into this because this pass is something I'm interested in because I know this summer I'm gonna be traveling and promoting my new streaming service and trying to get to these different places. And it's gonna save costs. I can sacrifice comfort for costs, but everybody's not like that. And I'm gonna go into the first thing, the first pro. The first pro is unlimited travel. The biggest advantage of the Frontier Unlimited Pass is that it allows customers to fly as many times as they want to, to any of the Frontier destinations for a fixed price. This makes it an ideal option for frequent flyers. Now I really emphasize on uh, Frontier's destinations. This is one of the kind, cons. With this program, you have limited destinations. Frontier is a low cost carrier and operates in a limited number of destinations compared to larger airport airlines this means that frontier <laughs> the unlimited pass can only take you to where they're like located um it's not a large range of locations to be honest um for example i have family that lives in chattanooga tennessee i can't really go to chattanooga because frontier is not an airline there so I will have to go to either Nashville or Atlanta to get into Chattanooga which they're both two hours away that's a bit inconvenient even though I'm saving on flight costs I'm not saving in travel time the second pro is that it's a fixed cost with Frontier Unlimited Pass customers don't have to worry about fluctuating airfares um, I believe it's one penny per ride per flight um, the fixed price, the, <laughs> so you'll be able, that's good to know. Cause like the one I'm thinking about, there are two plans. The one I'm thinking about is $3.99 plan and that's for the summer. It's active from May 2nd to like September or something. And it's $3.99 right now. That is a limited offer, but they're not telling when the offer is over. So hop on it as quick as you can. But the one that's for a year, I believe that's $12.99. I'm not doing that. I don't want to be stuck in Frontier traveling for a whole year. That's me, knowing that I'm only going to be traveling throughout the summer. The second con are date restrictions. Although you have these unlimited passes, there are several dates that are blocked out that you cannot travel. So if you need to travel those days, you kind of SOL unless you got to make an extra budget to get on a different airline. The third pro is convenience. The Frontier Limited Pass <laughs> is convenient. Like, I don't know what else to say. You, you're able to fly to the places that they are, they do offer for unlimited times, as many as you want. But, you know, it's just simply convenience. The third con, though, it is non refundable. Customers will not receive a refund if they do not use the flights. It's Frontier, y'all. Like, I don't know what to keep stressing to y'all. So, the fourth pro is savings. Because, in all actuality, um, even one way, the flights, the flights fluctuate, the prices. So, you can, <laughs> even Southwest is always telling you that, oh, we started at $59. I've never once seen a flight that was $59. And I definitely checked. So that's something that's, you know, convenient, you're saving. Cause even though it's Frontier, you still get to the destinations that you can get to as many times as you want to, unless it's the block date. <laughs> the fourth con are the hidden fees. 
So, even though your flights are covered, the, the main way that Frontier, the cousin of Spirit, make their money is through like getting extra seats and the baggage. They charge you out the wazoo for the bags and that hasn't changed. That's not included in this package. <laughs> the fifth pro is flexibility. The unlimited pass, the Frontier Unlimited Pass give customers the flexibility to travel as much as they want to any of Frontiers, again, emphasizing on Frontiers, destinations. They are not limited. They are not limited by the number of flights they can take or dates they, they can travel on. That's contradicting because you are limited on the dates. The ones that's blocked out, you can't travel on unless you get on another airline. <laughs> The con that I keep like emphasizing. I know you see those videos, look at those TikToks, whatever. It's still Frontier. It's like, it's the Aldi's brand version of, you know, flights. Um, they're not, they're not the greatest with the quality of service. That's a con. It is important to keep in mind limited destinations, date restrictions, <laughs> non-refundable um, nature, hidden fees, and the quality of service before making a purchase. Any travel option, it's important to weigh the pros and the cons and determine if it's the best choice for your individual travel needs. It's up to you to decide if you want to do it. Me, I'm thinking of leaning towards it because like I said, I am on a budget traveling to multiple states to, <laughs> to promote my streaming service on my own with my own funds. So. I just know I'm going to be ready to throw some bowls if I have to. I ain't trying to get banned from the airlines, but I know I'm going to be on that type of flight. I'm being realistic. So if there's something that you're interested in, be my guest. I will put the links in the description so you can sign up while they still, whenever the limited time, I'm not sure when it's over. But it's tax season, so hop on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Like I said, my channel is about filmmaking, entrepreneurship, and like personal growth. Those are the three topics that I put videos about. And that's stuff that I like to talk about. This is travel, but it's personal growth because I'm trying to expand in my entrepreneurship. Like I said, I am starting a streaming service and I will have the link in below. There's no content on there right now, <laughs> but it'll be officially coming this spring. Hope to see y'all. A good show is gonna be on there. Ha, watch. <laughs>